Hello, and welcome to today's Safety Minute. April 24, 2003, 18 years ago today, was the day of my incident. I call it my life day. I used to call it the day I didn't die. In the burn community, people often refer to their, the day they were burned as their burn anniversary. But no matter what you call that day, the reality is, is when you were wheeled into the emergency room and the doctor gave you the diagnosis, for me it was third and fourth degree burns to 90% of my body and they gave me a 5% chance to live. What the doctor truly was saying was your life changed real fast. Because that's the outcome of an incident as it changes people's lives really fast in ways they can't prepare for it. Not only can you not prepare for it, but the reality is you have no clue how your life is really going to change until after the incident. For me, I went into a coma immediately for six weeks. I had nothing but nightmares. And when I came out of a coma, I went from having nightmares to living one. I was severely underweight. I lost one third of my body weight. Because of that, I couldn't do the most simplest of things. I couldn't roll over or sit up. I couldn't brush my teeth, get dressed, or go to the bathroom. I used to be the most skilled person on our crew. In the flooring industry, my job literally was to drive around every single day and fix other qualified flooring installers' mistakes. These hands were extremely skilled at what they did. And now, when I do handiwork around the house, I struggle to manipulate the tools. And when I do, my skin is so weak it often breaks open and I start bleeding everywhere. I have been diagnosed as being over 100% permanently impaired. What that means is there's not an aspect of my life where my injuries and my disabilities don't affect how I live my life. I also have always been a happy-go-lucky person. But when I was in the hospital, I fought with anger, depression, anxiety. I even contemplated suicide for a while. I'm the type of person that has never really given suicide a thought in my life. But in the hospital, I contemplated it deeply, day after day, week after week, as I struggled to figure out how my life changed real fast. But not only did my life change, my wife's life also changed. When I was hurt, she immediately had to deal with everything. She had to deal with all the bills and the chores and the tasks around the house and the maintenance. On top of that, she had to deal with the hospital. She had to make all the decisions on my care because I was comatose. She was the one that was being told how severe it was. She was the one that had to make the decisions on whether I lived or died. She was the one that had to find out about the amputations as they were occurring. She was the one that would spend the long, cold, dark nights struggling to fall asleep. And she worried about my care. And my daughter, her life changed within her mother's womb. My wife was four months pregnant with our first child when I was hurt. And my daughter has never known her dad the way I was before my incident. Because of that, I've never really had the chance to be able to do simple things like play ball with my child because these hands do not play ball very easily. And when I go swimming with her, it was really hard for me to take my shirt off and expose myself to the world and let them see what 90% of third and fourth degree burns truly looks like. There are so many opportunities that my daughter has missed out of because of my disabilities. On top of that, my brothers, they both hit the bottle really quick. One of them got through it, the other one is still an alcoholic to this day. My parents also, they did everything they could, but there was very limited things that they actually could do to help me. So one thing that they did for over a year is they would make a home cooked meal for me and bring it to the hospital every single night because they wanted to help me put on weight because I was so severely underweight. Although there was very few things they could do for over a year, they did that one thing, just trying to help me do something as simple as put on weight. My life 
and my family and my friends' life changed really fast from an incident that was completely preventable. So as we celebrate Mayosh Week, I want you to take a moment to really consider what safety is. For some of you, you're going to see safety as a hindrance. It's something that slows you down and complicates your day, and I get that. But the reality is, is safety will also, also allow you to complete your tasks by controlling the hazards. You see, I have put safety into my life for the last 18 years. And what I have found is never once has safety ever stopped me from doing anything I wanted to do or had to do. It just improved the way I did things. And if you ask me if controlling hazards while completing the task, that is something that we should embrace. Safety is something we should embrace. Because when you do, you'll find that you'll still get all your tasks done, just in a better way, in a way where your life doesn't change really fast. Now, I hope you enjoyed this safety minute. If you want more videos like this, please hit the subscribe button. If you want to bring me out to your workplace so I can share my story and safety lessons with your workers, go to spencerspeaks.ca. Until the next safety minute, stay safe.